welcome to LA The land of opportunity where everybody stay The girls are pretty, some will shine 360 days But I don't know I feel that way Today I need some gray So yeah guys, um, yeah no, I'm back, for you guys it's Friday, welcome to another video with me Gianluca Luisi, known to you guys as Luisi21, benvenuti a tutti, and another vlog, welcome to another vlog is what I said basically, um, if you have not understood what I've been saying in a foreign language by now, then you don't know me at all, <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got a few clips of me playing Fortnite, I'm so good at this game. I get wins every time. <laughs> every time I play Fortnite, I win. No, I don't. Um, there's a lot of you probably gonna be like, why do you play that game? Why are you wasting your time? Then there'll be a lot of you saying like, yeah, it's the best game this year. I mean, everyone's playing it. I mean, for, for someone to not like it, like, it's weird nowadays. Um, I didn't like it at first because I'm, well, I'm not good at it still. I'm still not any good at the game. But that's how it is. Um, today I just want to talk about this uh, live stream with GEZ. It was like Q&A that was on YouTube the other day. Um, and it just it got me thinking. I'm, uh, like In the mood I'm in recently, like what I've been mentioning in the previous video and all that, it got, got me think, like in terms of putting things into perspective. If you know what I mean, you know, it, it kind of did that and he was explaining like what it's like when you're creative and how much of a risk it is, how much of a risk you take. And now he's been interviewed here and he's like, he speaks from the heart, which is uncommon these days. Um, and it's interesting to see how he's saying about, he's talking about the belief he had from a young age, like he knew he would, he would make it. And now that you know, that kind of industry, creative, it's very much a pyramid. Like, there's a lot of people, like, at the bottom, trying to get to the top, but there's not much space at the top. That's what you're trying to say. And some people get it wrong thinking there's more space at the top, and it starts with less at the bottom. You know what I mean? But it's more like a pyramid. Like, wide at the bottom, more people trying to get up that pyramid. And there's a small percentage that actually get there. And got me thinking about my YouTube career and how I mentioned in that other vlog where I talked about an older video of mine where I thought this channel could take me and where I am today. 50 subscribers by the way. I want to thank my latest subscriber yesterday. Thank you Dylan. Um, and I'll see a lot more of you guys subscribing hopefully if you have not already obviously. Most of you who are watching this probably subscribed already. So thank you for that. But welcome the new member of this movement. And it is a movement, guys. Um, but yeah, I want to show you a bit from this, another bit from this GEZ interview. Um, it might get you thinking about your own situation. I mean, it helped me. And if you're a fan of GEZ, you just watch it anyway, innit? Like, I'm a big fan going to one of his concerts. Um, those of you who are older than me, um, well, you either like him more or hate him more. I don't know. Uh, it depends what type of music you like. Um, but as a person, he makes a good point in this interview about believing in yourself. And 
I'm going to let him do the rest. And there's a bit I want to focus on later on in this interview, but let me show you a bit I was talking about. So, as your journey unfolds, is there a particular moment that you said, oh my God, I actually could make a living doing this? Mm -hmm. Is there is there a specific moment that you remember that you said, now I know that as a young person, when you're committed to your art, there was no way back, mm -hmm. but there must have been a moment where you said to yourself, I'm gonna be able to feed my family. Yeah, when I uploaded my first song to MySpace and I had like $76 in my wallet <laughs> to my name, and like it didn't make no sense at all and like no one else believed it and i don't know why i believed it i think i'm just maybe psycho mm -hmm. and a little weird because it didn't like it, it was like um okay <laughs> you know but like I, it was like weird how much conviction and confidence i had that if i was going to do this i wanted to like like I wanted to be hove. Like I wanted to like like be like a top tier like like I remember um saying like the world of, of hip hop is like say a pyramid of like okay at the bottom like ninety eight percent of it you have everybody as an aspiring rapper. Like anybody who, you know what I'm saying, like has this dream or wants to do it or whatever, and then you get to the next tier and it's like okay, you might have one song that pops off or you might be popping like in your city and you might be able to pick up like club bags and make enough to whatever and look you know what I'm saying seem famous but I know you're still like in your city and you're not making enough to really like and then above that you have like you know somebody who's signed and is there but not and then a the tiny tiny top percent is the people who really like make a living at this and like matter that much and it's so crazy how yeah, like and he mentions is there a moment you can actually remember and think back and go, you know, wait, let me see. Is there, is there a specific moment specific that you moment. remember that you said, now I know that as a young person, when you're committed to your art, there was no way back. But there must have been a moment where you said to yourself, I'm going to be able to feed my family. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and he mentions when he uploaded his first bit of music to MySpace. I mean, for me, the moment was probably not when I said when I made that Wire vlog video. I didn't know what I was doing to be honest. Like, I didn't know if it would actually work. But I did say that. I did say it would. I, I had a bit of faith, you know. And you have to draw that line between being humble and being having belief in yourself. And he's. You know, there's always a moment when I think made the business cards, probably, or the vlog that kind of kicked it off. I mean, the video that kicked it off was the documentary made all about me um, at football uh, that those students made. Um, that was a big moment for the channel, like, got a lot more views. You know what I'm and, like, I, I wanted to be there. I think that's, like, a, a lot of kids think that it's more like this. Mm -hmm. But just like in any profession, it's like that. It's like that, yeah. It's, it's pretty remarkable to understand how few people actually break through to, pay, to feed their family. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of people having fun mm -hmm. for a hot moment. Yeah. And maybe and that's not important too. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, I fell in love with it because I had fun. Like, and I still do. And the day it's not fun, I... I'll do something else, I don't know. And I like, the loving what you do is the most important part. Um, that was just what I became obsessed with. Like, every day I was making beats. Every day I was like writing verses. I didn't... This bit is interesting, because the other guy's saying like, there's people halfway up that pyramid that are just having fun. But then he kind of interrupts the guy mid sentence and says, well, that's, that's what it is, it's about fun at the end of the day. He's right, it is about fun, but he's talking about feeding his family and he's got to that stage where he can do that with the success he's had. I mean, I'm lucky enough to have a roof over my head, family that you know, helped me out in that sense. Um, but you have to believe in any, whatever you do to, to make it happen. Because if you don't, 
then how are you gonna enjoy the work that you put in to get the result? I mean, it's, everyone want, he mentioned it himself, everyone wants to get paid. But at the end of the day, you've got to appreciate that, no, you've got to, not appreciate, but like the work you put in, like, you've got to enjoy that part of it, the difficult stuff. If you don't enjoy that, how can you do it every day? Alma, what has been your biggest accomplishment and or what have you felt most proud of? Like, uh, like the obvious answer is, is just like taking care of my mom because she was, you know, she's my queen. She's my everything. Everything she did for us, everything like, you know what I'm saying? Like, respect and love to every single mom out there who's a soldier, who breaks her back, who sacrifices, who works hard to be able to raise us. That is the hardest job in the world and we appreciate you, we love you, and that does not go unnoticed. And I think every child's dream is to give back, you know, and be able to provide. And of course he mentions taking care of family, in this case his mom. Um, yeah, you, you gotta appreciate where you came from, I guess. And he mentions it at the beginning, like always, he always goes home, like to where he's from, to remember his roots. And yeah, I mean, I, I live where I've always lived, that's the thing. Um, but I've got family who are born in other countries, um, and they always feel the need to remember home, to go home. I mean, and then he gets this question from one of the audience. And this is the thing that I really wanted to show you guys more than any other bit of this video. So yeah, watch. So what advice would you, would you give? Well, advice is love what you do. Because if you truly love doing it, yeah. like, yeah, we all love getting paid. Like that's just a fundamental, you know, as a human with, you know, with bills, with needs, with like to provide or whatever, like, that's essential, but um, but it's important to love the process, not just the return, but like the hours of like dedication to that craft. Um, second is, if it's not working, don't be afraid to like, or or don't ever be unable to look yourself in the mirror, to have self awareness to say, maybe I need to change my approach. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if you know, if I made this album and put it out and it went wood or cardboard and it didn't sell, maybe I'm the problem. <laughs> maybe that shit was whack. Maybe like it's not somebody else's fault. You know, I don't. I, I don't know what you. I'm not suggesting that you're whack. I, I don't know that. But I'm, I'm just saying that like you know, and, and and not like listen like you know anything creative is subjective. You know, like something could just not be for somebody, and you could not get the opportunity because it just wasn't for them or it wasn't right or whatever. And ultimately. It's a weird dichotomy because the really crazy thing is you have to have confidence and belief in yourself, you know, to pursue it, to, to push it, to believe in it, especially when you're told no. But you also have to be humble and self-aware enough to say, maybe it's not that tight and maybe I need to change the approach. But you're too far on either side. When you fail, you're going to be wrong because if you're too humble and you're too impressionable of like, you're not believing in yourself. But if you're too fucking cocky and you can't be told that maybe the problem is you, bro, like maybe that shit sucks. You know what I'm do saying? You, like, so it's a, it's a weird balance because you have to. Like All right, guys, I'm gonna end it there on that positive note. Yeah, just remember what he said. Um, you know, just have faith, but then be willing to take a step back and look in the mirror and say, maybe this isn't good enough, or maybe I need to change the way I'm making this. I do that all the time with the videos. I mean, it is quite subjective. If someone doesn't like it, they don't like it. And I know that. I mean, there might even be people I know closely, like friends friend that won't They might not watch these videos every week or even like them, but that's up to them. I don't mind. Um, it doesn't mean people don't like you as a person. It might just be the, the title of that video or what you're talking about. Like, some of you might not be fans of Geezy, that's fine. But the message is still there. And whatever you do, you've got to believe you can do it. But then at the same time, 
okay, always be you. willing to improve because someone says to me you gotta do this or video's not good enough yeah to some extent I might be like well that's unfair you try it but at the same time you want to develop your skills all the time and you're always trying to get better because you'll never be perfect no one's going to be perfect make the best video every time but it can be very successful if you believe in it I guess um, and that's it for today I just want to keep it brief on it end it here thank you for joining me thank you for the support of recent times and I'm going to leave you with some Fortnite clips um, just for the sake of it uh, I've got loads more on the way but I'll leave you with these two um, I'm not going to make it too long otherwise I'll get fed up if you're not a fan of Fortnite <laughs> <Got he. laughs> but I am and I'm live streaming on Twitch on a regular basis so look me up there at Luisi21 as well subscribe on Instagram at I am Luisi21, all lowercase. Uh, on Twitter, yeah, it's written. It's written in the title somewhere. It's written somewhere here on 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 the screen. Um, but yeah, thank you guys, and I'm gonna see you soon. Have a great weekend, and remember, keep it real. Ciao for now. I don't know I feel that way Today I need some grey So no, far, no, no, no. I haven't even recovered my life yet. And then these two guys. Look at that, they're taking our stuff. I hate when I do that. Well, what else would you do? Yes. Fix him. Fix him. See who else is here. That's bad. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Why am I building upwards and then falling again? This storm literally killed me.